What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and we are talking about P.E.K.K.A funnels, very important technique, especially at the top town hall levels. We're taking a look at town hall 12 replays today and kind of discussing why it's important to uh, use P.E.K.K.A.s for funnels and how exactly it shapes up uh, on different bases. So getting right into it here, um, it's with this, usually this Pekka uh, bowler smash type army composition. Sometimes you have bat spells, stone slammer, sometimes not. But um, you'll see here, let me pause it for just a second so we can make a point. Um, one thing you'll notice, generally speaking, however far the Pekkas get on either side, assuming you're using them for a funnel, will guarantee that your push will go through the base up until that point. And for this type of army composition, typically, um, especially if you're not using bat spells, if it's like a heavy push, maybe a slammer, maybe nothing, like in this army comp, uh, left over, typically there's going to be an exit point. Your troops are never going to go entirely through the base all the way to the back end. They're not going to just cut through it like a knife. They're typically going to wander and there's going to be an exit point for your P.E.K.K.A.s and the majority of your troops. The P.E.K.K.A. funnel guarantees that up until however far the P.E.K.K.A.s get, the exit point will not occur because there'll be nothing to pull the troops out of the base. So let's continue with the replay. We can see um, top side still going, the bottom side's gotten what it can get uh, up to the Tesla and Elixir storage. So troops moving through here, um, everything's still in the middle of the base pushing through. And keep in mind, this is the entry on a side of a base. You can also enter on a corner. Things work a little bit different if you enter on a corner, and I will talk about that once we see a replay that matches. Anyway, things are pushing through here, still haven't had an exit point. Right here you can see top side of the base, um, this stuff is going to be what kind of pulls to that exit point. Had all of this been down, not saying it should have been down, but had all of this been down, things would have continued pushing into the inferno. Now the thing is, you want an exit point because it allows your healers, if you still have any, to have some free time to heal your troops away from defenses. Um, the important thing is that your push gets enough of the middle part of the base taken out. Um, and it, it, of course this does vary, like I said, um, between if you're using bat spells or not, stuff like that. But you can see here, a little bit lucky I guess you could argue, the queen gets that crucial inferno tower. This is what you need to push to get everything in the middle of the base, then beyond to the outside will be kind of wiped up as troops move around here. Um, you'll see there's also a bit of luck here with how the Grand Warden tanks. Uh, the party wizards were important because they're better than regular wizards actually, so um, while they're still out guys, use the party wizards over regular wizards assuming they're allowed if you're in a league. Uh, I am in one league that doesn't allow them, but generally speaking in most wars uh, in game, yeah, use these party wizards. They do more damage and they're quicker. Anyway, um, things exit and they just kind of sweep around and take out the remainder of the base here. And that's typically how it's going to work. Um, so you want to have the P.E.K.K.A. funnel up, get up to a certain point after which it's kind of acceptable for the troops to exit the base. Um, and it does take luck sometimes for this type of attack strategy. Let's take a look, look at another replay and we can continue to talk through this. Um, number 9 here all coming from our uh, SCW War, or SCWL War um, in Champs 1, so looking to maybe even get into the top four and get a spot in the uh, pre-qualifiers, uh, I think it's the pre-qualifiers or the qualifiers, whatever, I think the qualifiers get to Poland uh, if you do really well, but this is a cool experience either way to be in these high level Town Hall 12 Wars. So one side we have the queen doing her thing. It's not really necessary, and the queen was supposed to go this way. Um, there's so much base up here. It doesn't have to be a funnel, obviously, on this side. The idea is, because the entry is kind of on a, close to a corner, not exactly a corner, the, only this side is crucial, because there's, no, there's not gonna be an exit towards the top, it's just more base. That's where you want your troop to go, towards like the eagle here. Um, the queen does go this way, and there's a good adjustment by using the jump spell here. We'll see in just a moment. But um, I'll try to zoom in, guys. That's been a comment before, is I should zoom in more. Uh, anyway, things moving in here. There's two P.E.K.K.A.s on the outside of the base. And this is important because 
this is more, the pathing is more of a wraparound style, where things are coming down, then we want them to go left towards this other inferno. So, it's important that things continue to push through, and that they're not going to be drawn to the bottom here. Now, unfortunately, some Teslas pop, and these Pekkas did a lot of, they got good value, and the King is being very weird here. That's just kind of unlucky, the King shouldn't be out there. Uh, the Pekkas did their job, but um, up to a point, and the point in this case was getting the entire side of here cleared out, and then right here the Pekkas couldn't take out the remainder, things exited at the bottom, that's fine. Um, only one Inferno Tower left up, it's kind of, if you have a multi-Inferno, typically they're kind of deep in the base, can't be accessed by bowlers or the Queen. It can be a little tricky, but if you have enough troops, you can still triple the base, so we'll fast forward here. Um, and fortunately there's just enough to take out the remainder of the base here. But yeah, that's that's the thing guys, when you're thinking about the P.E.K.K.A. funnel, you want to think, okay, how much do I have to invest here to get as much of the outside of the base taken out as I can acceptably do and keep my troops inside the base for that amount of time, if that makes sense. So anyway, number two here, last one. I apologize for showing a non three star attack, but had to do it. Um, this is. And actually, I found this attack interesting because the attacker here is bringing a wizard and then also party wizards. So I'm not sure why multiple. why both are needed really. I would have just brought three party wizards, but whatever. Um, Pekka is down, and this is different because we're entering on a corner. Now, on a corner, it's less important to have as thorough as a, of a funnel, just because things are gonna be spreading out just by the layers inside the base, because as you come in at a corner, the base gets wider and wider to the point where, from this bomb tower all the way to like this air defense, once you get to the core. So it's no longer a matter of if you're taking out the outside of the base over here, it's more of, can you at least get things into the base, and then from there, uh, it's kind of up to the, the jump spell placement, the earthquakes, whatever, the queen to pull things through. Um, it's no longer the P.E.K.K.A.'s job, because the outside of the base is much more irrelevant. They can spread out plenty just by the, the compartments inside the base. So, um, oftentimes we do see, and I think two P.E.K.K.A.'s may have been excessive, all that needed to go down was the... Uh, old storage, but there's also a ton of DPS, so you could argue either way. But anyway, um, on corner entries, typically the bat, uh, bat wave is more common, just because you're going to be kind of carving out the middle of the base more, not in leaving up more as you go, just because by nature that it's, it's kind of a wider entry once you get to the core, whereas if you're coming in on a side of the base, you can typically get more taken out and not leave as much in your wake. So. Um, this case was not a bat spell, and we'll see, this one obviously is not going to go for a triple, but I just wanted to show the base, show the entry to make this point that, um, yeah, the queen's going to end up targeting this stuff, a little bit unlucky, um, but that's not really necessary for the P.E.K.K.A.s to take out all this stuff over here, because generally speaking, it's not going to be that stuff that pulls the troops, it's going to be a stuff in the first compartment here, uh, like these buildings, which the P.E.K.K.A.s had nothing to do with, so... Um, I guess the moral of the video is you have to identify how you're entering. Are the stuff on the outside of the base, is that going to be a make or break for whether or not the troops continue through the core of the base? And you want to plan how much DPS is there going to be and at least enough to funnel things in. But typically you want much more to take out along the outside of the base and allow your troops to be guaranteed to stay in up until a certain point. At which point it's kind of a you know random where do they end up pathing to? But to some extent, once you get through the most of the base, you want that to happen. Just you want to try to get as many of those infernos as you can and clear out all but like the last layer or two of the base. At which point um, troops exit, but hopefully you have healers, you have your queen, and maybe some pekkas, king, you know tanks in in front, and you can clear out the rest of the base. So. Hope this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bisectatron out.